also check it out guys, we are back with a brand new episode on the channel. My name is of course General Tony and welcome my friends, as promised, back to the main village inside of COC. So we're going to be doing something special in this episode. You guys have all asked me to buy something from the Clash of Clans store. And you're going to find out what it is guys and what the secret behind it is in a few seconds before we do anything. If you take a look at the top right hand side, we've almost maxed out our gold storages. So we're just going to take on this base real quick. We're going to grab a triple star. We're going to max out the gold storages, guys. And we are going to do one of the last ever upgrades in the base before the massive Christmas update comes out, guys. So what we're going to be doing in this episode in a second, I'm actually going to be spending some money in the game. And for anyone who has been subscribed to the channel for a while, you will know when we spend money, guys, we also give away the exact same amount to my subscribers. So if you want to actually win what I'm about to buy in a few seconds, then make sure you drop a like on the episode. Every 1,000 likes we get on this video, guys, I will give away the exact same to one lucky subscriber. So let's try and get all these bowlers in because I don't really think this has been the greatest start, guys. We've taken a bit of a bashing. I think I forgot to actually set the um, Grand Warden back to ground, which does suck because he is set to air. Let's see if we can actually somehow grab ourselves a really decent two-star, guys. I don't think we're going to be getting anywhere near a triple star now because we kind of messed it up. But we're still going to clean up these buildings on the right-hand side where all the percent is. And I really just want to take out this Archer Tower so I can gain access to all this Elixir, guys. So let's wait. We've still got 12 minions. The reason why we've got 12 minions is because we are doing a challenge inside of the Gold Pass, guys. We've almost got that Archer Tower. Come on, there it goes. Now we can take all these buildings, guys. Let's also grab a couple of extra around this side. And I think that will pretty much be game over. As we close in on just over, I think, 70% total damage. We're up to the 69. There goes the 70, guys. And we got the 71 from this Dark Elixir drill as well. And I think we're going to end the raid there. So, check it out. We just about maxed out our gold storages. Sitting at 18 million gold. So, before we actually do the upgrade, we're going to go into our gold pass. We're going to grab the Training Boost, the Bigger Season Bank, and a Resource Potion. So take a look at this, guys. We have just gone past 15 million Golden Elixir, which is amazing. We're going to collect the loot. Oh, no, we don't need that. It's Dark Elixir. And we are going to drop that potion we just got to boost our production. I'm actually going to use... Oh, wow, we've got three of them. We're going to use all three, guys, because I need Golden Elixir to upgrade and max out the walls. So what we're going to do... We are going to buy ourselves the pirate scenery and we're going to see if there's any secrets behind this guy. So the brand new village background, as I said, every thousand likes this video gets, I will give away one of these in one of the next videos, guys. So let's actually grab it and see what happens. Okay, so there it is. You're all set. Your purchase was successful. We can now obviously set this, guys. Change the scenery. Let's hit it. And there it is. Okay. Brand new Skull Island theme. I'm not going to lie. This is definitely my favorite village, guys. Let me know down below what is your favorite. Do you have this one? I will take a look in those comments. So we've got it. I don't know how long it's going to be in the store for. I think it's only in the store for a couple more days. But we've got the special offer. And it's taken me all the way to a beautiful... 20 million gold, which I'm not gonna lie is amazing guys. So it cost I think it was $6.99 I'm not really sure. I can't remember. We just bought it, but what we need to do now We've got 20 million gold. We're gonna get rid and dump some of the gold on the Archer Tower 13.6 million to upgrade Archer Tower number five, which means there are now just three Archer Towers to go before we max out this base guys each one is costing 13 and a half million gold so we need just under 40 million gold. The rest of the loot, the elixir, is going to get dumped on these walls. We just got some war rings as well. And we've almost got enough to do another one, guys, which is amazing. So by the end of today, we will be able to upgrade another Raja Tower. But if I go back into the gold pass, we're about to get the runes. Rune of gold, rune of elixir, rune of dark elixir. But I think we're going to save these. 
because by the time the update comes out, I don't think we're going to get any more of these guys. So all these magic items we're going to get now are going to be saved and we will not be spending them. So I need to actually grab the gold and the elixir from raids or doing some clan battles, guys. So we've got the next army trained up. We are no longer going to use the minion strategy because we just completed the challenge. So we're actually going to train up a different army. I am going to jump in here and I'm going to edit this, guys. I'm going to remove all the minions. And we are going to change it up completely. Let's bring some extra giants. Actually, no. Hold on. Let's go for a golem, guys. There we go. Let's chuck in a golem. Let's also heavily reduce the wizards. And let's bring ourselves... Let's bring some baby dragons and a single minion. There we go. Okay. Army's ready. We're going to train it up, guys. We've got our troops and the spells. We don't have the heroes just yet, but we are... We are boosted. And they're only going to take a couple of minutes or a couple of gems. Let's just gem them all, guys. Five gems for each one. That's cool. And let's swap the Grand Warden back to ground. So we're ready. Do we have our Siege Barracks cooked? Yes, we do. Let's grab ourselves our second attack. Now, there is a star bonus available, guys, if we can get a triple star. From this raid, we will be getting a loot bonus, a star bonus, and, of course, all the loot that we find in the actual battle. So we're going to look for something big, but we're going to look for something we can triple star with no problems whatsoever. So keep your eyes peeled, guys. We're going to be back in a second. Let's see if we can find something around the six to 700 plus thousand loot raid okay so here we go we've got six hundred thousand gold seven hundred and fifty thousand elixir guys we're gonna be able to do another wall upgrade with the elixir once this raid is over and i think we can get a triple star against this base guys i think maybe we can't actually i think this is a maxed out base i don't think we're gonna be getting the triple star but we'll try our best and we shall see what happens so the queen is gonna come in from the right hand side I'm going to get the Super Wall Breaker to open down the bottom, guys. I just need the Queen to take out that air defense, and we will be off to a fantastic start. Two to three cannons and Archer Towers taking down the Queen pretty quick, guys. But I don't think we need a Rage Spell, because that double cannon is actually out of range. So we're looking good. Queen is going to come down this side. I'm going to use a Wizard just to clean a couple of buildings. And we are going to need a Rage Spell, I think, to take on this... Um, Defending Royal Champion, guys. So we got the Rage drop down ahead of the actual army, ahead of the Queen. Here we go. Royal Champion's going to come over. We're going to take it down pretty quick, and we're going to head off straight towards that Grand Warden, guys. Okay. So we're looking good. Already up to a huge 25% total damage. We haven't managed to take out the Warden, so we're going to drop down a Rage spell on the Queen again. And we are going to... I think I'm going to need to send in the Royal Champion. Hold on. Let's see if we can get this in, guys. Royal Champion's going in. I'm going to drop a free spell. And we're going to get another Super Wall Breaker in, but it's gone to the wrong side. We're going to need to freeze again that Inferno Tower, guys. Definitely not going to be getting the Triple Star. Let's activate the Royal Champion Shield as well. She's going to wipe out those defenses. I really wanted the Royal Champion to take out the Inferno Tower, guys. But it just didn't go that way. And now we are in a bit of a pickle. So, let's see where the majority of the loot is. Let's just take out these collectors. I've got a lot of minions. So we're going to just swipe up and take out these buildings with the minions, guys. Going to pop the Queen ability. She gets taken out by the... Siege Barracks, and we are ready for a full-scale attack, so let's just get the troops in. I'm going to pop the King ability straight away. We're going to get that double jump in, guys, and we'll send in the rest of the army. So all we've got left is a single poison spell. We're already up to a really high percent, but we aren't going to be getting even the second star, but at least we can clean up, guys, the majority of the loot. So let's drop that Grand Warden ability nice and early. Save us from the onslaught of the Eagle Artillery, guys. And we've got the majority of the gold. There's a tiny bit left over on the right-hand side that I missed. We did get a shot off, but we're not going to be doing much more than that, guys. So let's take down this final gold storage, and then it will probably be the end of the raid. There it goes, guys. 82%. Still got a huge amount of loot. Unfortunately, the Dark Elixir we do not need. But let's drop another wall upgrade. 
and let's see where we are. Okay. I'm going to quick train up that army again, guys. we just done another challenge. Build a boost, build a elixir, and 1.75 million gold. That's massive, guys. That is a large amount of gold, taking us just shy of 9 million. We've almost got enough to upgrade another Raja Tower, meaning we've just got two left. So, we're going to win this episode here, guys. We're going to try and max out the space in the next week or two before the Christmas update. So keep your eyes peeled. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and stay tuned for the next episode.